happy to have you here and even happier to be in a position to welcome the German Chancellor, Olaf, Herr Olaf Scholz, to Ghana. We've met several times in various parts of the world, but this is the opportunity I have, the honor that I have, to welcome him very warmly to Ghana and his delegation. It's been a, a good time in my, my presidency for relations between Germany and Ghana. He's the second chancellor to visit us. His predecessor, the chancellor Frau Angela Merkel, was here in my first mandate, as is also the Deutsche President, uh, Dr. Steinmeier, was also here. So, as you can see, uh, the relations between Ghana and Germany, they don't depend on the political color of whoever is in office here at Jubilee House or the Chancellor in Germany. They are strong state-to-state -state relations that we cherish very, very much. And um, the Chancellor is here to reaffirm the cooperation that there are between our two countries so many areas of Ghanaian national life. We have appreciated the cooperation of Germany, especially in areas of energy efficiency, the development of renewables, and the development of our transmission infrastructure. These are areas where we've been benefited greatly from German technology and assistance. As again, under the G20 comp compact with Africa has been also a very beneficial and val valuable source of cooperation between our two countries. And indeed, I intend to be in Berlin in the latter part of this of, of, of November for the, uh, the conference that Chancellor Scholz is uh, organizing over the, uh, the, the compact with Africa. We had an opportunity in our meeting to discuss, apart from economic matters in Ghana, to discuss issues of migration, to discuss problems to do with the instability in parts of West Africa and the Sahelian region, the, the coup d'etats that have engulfed at least four of the states of West Africa, and shared very common views as to how we're looking at the future, and how we can work together to restore democracy to these countries and strengthen democratic development in West Africa as a whole. We're looking forward to working together uh, to promote uh, the reform of the United Nations, especially of its Security Council. I think we have all seen in recent times that um, the Council, in many ways, is not fit for purpose in dealing with questions to do with international peace and security. The classic example is what is happening uh, over the Ukraine conflict, where the, the nation that is the aggressor is also the veto-wielding country and which is blocking any initiatives that the Security Council can take over the, the conflict. So clearly, there is a need for all of us to rethink how the future will be. As Ghana continues to be strong in a denunciation of Russia's aggression over Ukraine. But at the same time, um, we believe that greater and greater efforts should be made to see the possibility of a resolution of the conflict. Uh, it's, it has important international implications for us, and we need to be able to make sure that uh, as quickly as possible we come to peace. In the same way, we have been, we were very clear and vocal in our condemnation of the attack on Israel on the 7th of October by the Hamas organization, and uh, recognized fully Israel's right to protect itself and defend itself. But at the same time, you look at the humanitarian consequences of what is going on over there. 
there's clearly a need for us, all of us, the international community, the global community, to, log, to look beyond the immediate issues of the, of, 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 of the of the consequences of the Hamas uh, attacks on Israel, to be looking at the possibility of a comprehensive settlement of this matter. It's not possible for us to have a 10-year cycle of vengeance and vendettas in the Middle East that unless a concerted effort is made by all of us to see, to see how we can uh, fashion an understanding based on the two-state solution. These are some of the matters that I've had the opportunity to talk to the Chancellor about. And uh, we are finding ourselves in agreement about so many of the issues. And I want once again to thank you very much indeed for uh, making the effort to come and visit with us. And I, I, I have no doubt that I'll see you again very soon in Berlin. Mm -hmm.